some smooth turtles. Yo, YouTube, L D R M A S Cosplay here. Yo! Uh, yes, we're coming again from Mother's car and I have so much to do this week that I figured I might as well do it now and get out all my happiness from last night. So we're talking about the Ninja Turtle movie, Out of the Shadows, the sequel to the 2014 movie. And ah, oh my gosh, it was, I'm gonna try to keep spoilers down. I'm, I'm not a, so I don't know if I, I can keep out the spoilers. If I do, I'll just go ahead and put a spoiler warning right here just in case. If not, I don't have to apologize. If I do, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. But anyway, oh my gosh, the movie was great. I um I, I got out of it and I watched Andre Black Nerd's review on it and I watched uh, Jeremy John's thing on it. But I just wanted to get out and say my own opinion on it. So if y'all don't know, I'm not an 80s person. Um, I grew up in the 90s. I'm the 90s kid of the group. My So my Turtles was 2003. I was, th that was my period when I was going like, you know what, screw reality, screw being normal, screw, you know, fitting in. Uh, I'm just gonna love what I love and I love turtles and I loved the two so I, my two my I watched every single episode of the 2003 turtles I was trying to collect the toys I I, I, I couldn't collect them because I, I just couldn't but like I loved all those movies the 2007 the 2003 series and then I figured out about the 1990s ones the Jim Henson ones the Turtles 3 um, that everybody hates the cartoon so I've I've gotten into those I've understand those but again my turtles is the 2003 so this movie what I always like to explain to people is that why I love the 2014 movie so much was because it was my 2003 turtles the mecha shutter suit looked exactly like the shutter suit they were dark they were gritty which was kind of what they were doing they were trying to be more serious they were trying to be like older teenagers like maybe like 19 almost going into their adult years they were trying to um understand each other better they were trying to not be silly and that's what i think the two that that's why that's what the 2014 encompassed for me was all the 2003 turtles so this one of course i believe played more to the fanboy of teenage mutant ninja turtles the 80s, the, ni the 90s Jim Henson, the 2003, the current t 2016 series, the um, Next Mutation, the the singing one, the the one the bad the bad singing the, the hip hop Christmas album, all that stuff. It played to everything, and it was phenomenal. Let me get down to the plot points. There are several plot points in this movie, but I'm gonna go back and forth. Between, I didn't watch um, Jeremy Johnson's all the way, but I did watch Andre's all the way. My thing is that I'm. Saying this based on Andres, there are a lot of point points, yes, but the thing is is that uh, for me being in the middle class of the 2003 Turtles, um, which uh, he, he was saying that if you were a very big OG fan the comics, everything, that you would probably be really confused, but the thing is is that yes, you might be confused, but that just gets... Um, Rewatch value, but also my thing about it is that you the thing was was that I wasn't bored even with these multiple plot points each one Connects to the story each one connects to the main main focus of the story and it it's entertaining every single part is entertaining mega mega fox's uh, Story with Casey Jones and Will Arnett was fascinating. Um, the turtle story was fascinating um, Sh Shredder and the K guy that's in the movie that you don't want to see is in the movie, but he's in the movie was interesting. Uh, what's the the Baxter Stockman section of that was interesting. Every single part was interesting. You were never bored. That uh, that's what I got out of it was that. Oh, uh, of course, I'm so sorry, Bebop and Roxy section was never boring. They were awesome. They played off of each other. They were funny. They were hilarious. They were the best bromance you could ever have on the big screen. It was wonderful. Oh, man. Um, so, like I said, it was never, never boring. Like, you were always entertained. The music that picked up in the background um, would always get you hyped for the scene. Or it, it everything played off as out of it wonderfully. And it just all connected. And it was perfect um even i i don't know if this is a spoiler or not but because we saw in one trailer the halloween scene the halloween scene was like something i was looking forward to because that was my favorite episode from the 2003 and it was so short but it was so shortly perfect like it explained what was what they wanted to get through
through. It was entertaining, and but it, and it was so quick, but it was so, it wasn't that short. It was the perfect length it needed to be. And that's, I, that's what I think what every single thing was. Nothing, no plot point played out more than it needed to be. It got the point across, and it was still entertaining. It wasn't, it didn't drag on, and it didn't do, and it, or it didn't, or it wasn't too short that you didn't understand what was going on. Everything, every single thing, every single section was perfect. Was the perfect length that it needed to be. And that's, uh, that's what I was concerned about because this movie was only about two hours long. And, but, and, oh, but it, they just did so well. Thank you for this director. Thank you for the cast. The cast, you can just tell the cast had so much fun with this movie. Oh, man. It, oh, I hope to gosh that we get a third one. If, if this becomes a, ser uh, a, a trilogy just like the uh, Jim Henson movies, then this will, this will be glorious. There, and, and they have, uh, and they have plot points that they still have to work off to, to get the trilogy. So hopefully this is what it means for us. Like I was saying all on Facebook last night, it's A's across the board for me. I, uh, I cannot give this movie enough love. And I, I, I saw it as, as the regular, I'm going to go back again and see it in 3D and IMAX because I just have to. Oh man, it was so so wonderful and uh, oh let's see there was something i wanted to talk about and i can't remember off the top of my head i'm so sorry oh yes the one thing that i hated so i did hate something and it was um i i guess this is where i'll put a spoiler warning so a big spoiler warning right here spoiler warning okay so the one thing that i was excited for was that we I was hoping that we would get more of Karai in this, and we did. We did a lot, but she was like the one character that wasn't flushed out. Like she was just the background supporting faceless character, and uh, this is why I love the 2007 movie so much because Karai is a freaking badass, and that's what we got in the 2007 movie was the Karai badass, and we didn't get that in this one, and. Oh, the, the, that scene where she gets taken down by, um, uh, it was, it was, so of course I did have the one con, which was that, so it shows you that I, I do have gripes with it, but that was it, and again, that happened so quickly that <laughs> I was so happy with what had the next and what came after and what was happening on screen that I completely forgot about it. It took me until now to th sit back and think about it and think what happened. And I was just going like, cry. Where is my bet? I hope to gosh in the next in the next movie she comes forward and does better. Like hopefully now she gets to step up and be the cry badass we all know her to be. Hopefully. Um. So yeah, th that was again. What was my one grab was cry. And otherwise, I hope y'all go see this movie. I hope y'all enjoy this movie. I hope y'all give it its credit for what it, for its worth. And you know. Uh, if, if not, y'all have y'all's turtles that y'all love and enjoy, y'all have your 80s turtles still, y'all have your whatever turtles, your 1990s Jim Henson turtles, y'all you all have that. Um, so I just hope y'all just love this movie just as much as I do, and I if, please comment below, we'll geek out about it, we'll talk about it, I'll hit me up on my Facebook and my cosplay page, and we'll talk about it more there too. So also please, if you want more of my geekiness, uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and um, again, please comment, and we'll talk about turtles. We'll just talk about turtles forever. Um, oh, that's a good movie too. <laughs> that's another movie, Turtles Forever, that I loved and enjoyed. So anyway, I hope y'all had a great weekend and a great rest of the week. Apparently, summer is here. Um, summer is officially here in South Carolina. It is hot, and so stay inside and keep cool, everyone. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for your support, and just. I'll see y'all next time, and I promise I will get the ending issue of TMNT Batman comic. It's just taking longer to edit. That will be my next video, I promise. All right, y'all. Bye.